Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and in this video we're going to be going over how to convert seconds to minutes. The important thing to remember is that there are 60 seconds for each one minute. Okay, and so this is what you're going to be looking at a lot of the time. So let's look over at this kind of little area here to the left, and you'll see that if you have 60 seconds, Mathematically, what you're doing is you're dividing that number by 60. 60 divided by 60 is 1. Okay, and I'm going to skip all this divided by 60 part, but just try to remember 120 seconds is 2 minutes, 180 seconds is 3, 240 is 4. Pause the video if you need to sit there and kind of memorize this a little more, but ultimately all we're doing is dividing. Now it can be a little tough um, because around the time, that a lot of people are learning this, these are kind of ugly numbers to divide, right? So I think it helps a bit to build an intuition for this instead of always purely doing the math, but maybe, maybe you're better at that too. It's up to you how you do it. The important number to remember if you're doing like big numbers, the one that we're going to solve is 1,020 seconds and we're going to find out how many minutes that is, okay? The important number to remember for big ones is 300 seconds is the same as five minutes. That is easier numbers to remember. And this is going to help us, this 300 seconds per five minutes, that's gonna help us when we solve for this 1020, okay? Um, so again, pause the video if you need to kind of look at this and remember 60 seconds is one minute, 120 is two, etc. It's up to you. So now let's try to solve this. Now mathematically, what we're doing is we're taking this 10, 20 seconds, if we want to find the minutes, um, 10, 20 seconds divided by, I'm going to do it this time with units. We have 60 divided by 1 here, and this is seconds per minute. Okay, we're just taking this 60 divided by 1 six seconds per minute. Now 60 divided by 1 is the same as 60, okay? and this is going to end up being something. This is also the same as just saying 1020 divided by 60. This is an easier way to look at it if you're just trying to do the math. From an engineering standpoint, we like to use the units, but this will still get you the same answer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this 300. Okay, so let's see, 300 and then 600 and then 900, and then from 900 we would go to 1200, but that's too big. Okay, so I want to go to 900. So 900 seconds. So I've got 1020 minus the 900. What does that end up being? That is 120. Okay, so to get to this 1020, we needed five minutes, right? This, this isn't five minutes. So the 900, this is the 900 here. Okay, and this is coming from three chunks of five minutes. Do you see that? So we've got five minutes is 300. So 900 seconds is gonna be 15 minutes, right? We need three times 300 to get 900. And then we take three times five, we're gonna get the 15. So we have 15 minutes so far. And then we're adding in to that 120 seconds, that's two minutes. So in the end, this is going to be 17 minutes, okay? Again, there are multiple ways to do this. You might want to watch the video more than once. I know it can be confusing when there's more than one way to do something. Mathematically, all we're doing is saying 1020 divided by 60. I can double check that on my calculator, but 1020 over 60 is going to give us a 17, and it did, okay? So mathematically, this gets us the 17. But if you're kind of trying to do this in your head, for me personally, I like to remember that for every 300 seconds, it takes five minutes. And we can quickly get to that 900 by just taking three chunks of this. You know, three chunks of 300 seconds can get us the 900 seconds, and then three chunks of five minutes gets us 15 minutes. And then all we have left are these 120 seconds. And we can just look right here and quick remember, hopefully, that 120 seconds is two minutes. So we're just adding those together. It's, it's okay if this is confusing. 
um, depending on what level math you're at when you're learning this, this is a hard number to divide, 1020 by 60. So it'll take a while, but with practice, you'll get it. That's the important part. And you don't have to do it this way. This is how I personally do it in my head, remembering that there are 300 seconds in five minutes. This is Keep from Kinvert. I hope you found this helpful. Remember, you can watch it again. You can pause it if you need to. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.